everybody, it's Audrey from the craftycardcupcake.blogspot.com and I want to show you this mini that I made for a Christmas gift and um, first I'd like to tell you that I used the um, tutorial by Laura at Follow the Paper Trail it's called her Stack the Deck mini album and she just put it out uh, sometime last week I think as part of her 12 days of Christmas or something like that anyways I used the Anna Griffin Lizzie collection that I got on HSN and I entitled it Sweet Diem because it's for Diem who is my cousin's daughter and she is such a cutie and so um, well, let me tell you what I did on the front this is one of the um, acrylic flowers from Recollections these are cool. It's the first time I've used them. I used lots of wild orchid craft flowers in between, if you can see. And that's a frog feathers layered up with a um, two tone wild orchid craft uh, violet rose. Some more. And I just used some trim that I had in my stash. And this is a butterfly from Recollections in purple. That's kind of cool. Um, some swirl blings that bling, I bling. Had. Bling, bling. and this was a title piece from the collection and then I just used some alphas and spelled out Diem because that's her name and then on the side <clears throat> excuse me I used some more of that shabby chic flower trim and then I tied on a couple charms one's a butterfly crystal and then another is just a little charm assembly with girly things as a flower. That's kind of cool. And a key. Says that? play. Yep. Hmm. A crown because she is a princess. A couple butterflies. A lock. A key. And some little shoes. So uh -huh. that. And then the back I just kept simple. Said made with love. And then a bling butterfly. Bling that I bling. Had. Bling, bling, yes. bling, 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 bling. I will say this is one of the easiest albums to make. Um, you can make it in a day, and um, once you start doing them, they're kind of addictive. Mm -hmm. In fact, one of our they're tearing up our presents. Our cat. We just wrapped some presents, and our cats are trying to open them. Uh, anyhow, so in the front here, I just put a label from the collection. It says "For DM Christmas 2011, Love Aunt Audrey." and three wild orchid craft flowers and I used her variation where there's a long where well, there's a big envelope and then two shorter envelopes sandwiching it okay so um, okay I put a Thank wallet you, size Hannaford. type photo mat here should I raise my hand for a question and then a little title spot tied some baker's twine and okay. then each one has a pull out card and it has a place for four photos it's pretty four large photos and i did use some glitter paper from die cuts with a view to supplement because i didn't have a lot of card stock then this is the envelope piece and i put a journaling spot there okay and then for the tags let me pull one out here. Um, I just matted it, used my deco edge punch, and used some of the paper ribbons Pretty. from the collection. And so those are basically the same um, other than different colors. Okay. Okay. <laughs> Got in there just nicely. And I like how it sticks out just a little bit. Um, and then on this side, I did a little journaling spot, another photo, these are some uh, acetate flowers from the collection and then in, on this side instead of doing a card I just did one large photo mat with a tab and I attached those blings with my eye rock tool and there you go and then you have a place for a photo here if you'd like on this page I did a nice photo mat with a place for Focus them to them. title oh that's too close, oh. sorry Bling. And then this. I just love these paper colors. Me too. Those are amazing. Um, and another journaling spot here. Okay. And this tag's purple. I won't take it out, though. And then on this, this is my favorite paper right here. And then on this side, I had a little boo-boo there, but I figured they'll cover it up with a picture, so no problem. I popped this glitter die cut up on some foam dots. 
and another photo mat with a tab and some blings. And DM is the ultimate girly girl, so this is perfect for her. Um, again, some more of the die cuts from the collection, and that's a glittered chipboard. Another card. And I used the Michaels um, Mike's. Recollections card cards and envelopes that come together, so I need to go get some more of those this weekend. Um, <clears throat> we're going to Mike's, aren't we? We are. On Sunday, your day off. Um, on this one, I did some little white, uh, they're not really blings, but little white bling, bling. thingies oh. from my eye rock. They aren't bling? Not really. Oh. And then on this one, instead of a photo mat, I did a journaling spot, and it was a butterfly, and it looked like the trail of the butterfly was the journaling spot. And then I did another photo mat, and all the baker's twine is open, so they mm. can slip their picture underneath there. That's kind of cool, actually. And That's really cool. Look at that. Another one of these. Just a rubber band? It's baker's twine. Oh. So it's string, and I just wrapped it oh. around and tied it up. That's kind of cool. Okay. And then on this one, I used a glitter die cut from the collection. This is an IROC uh, flower that I got with a gem in the middle. Another bling tab. Another place for a photo. I popped this one up on Pop Dots and then put the glittered heart behind. And then another photo mats. Um, it's a really simple album, but it, the paper really gets to show off, and I think they'll have a lot of room for pictures. Uh, this was a chipboard or a uh, layered up sticker that says "Smile" and a bling butterfly. Hmm. And then this one again, I did the baker's cool. twine. That's your favorite, huh? Mm -hmm. Another card that pulls out, and then behind it is a journaling spot with lines. So I, I figure they could, this could go for many years, or they could use it for, you know, over the years. I don't know. Whatever they really want. It's their gift. So um, I just wanted her to have something special. And then the last page has a chipboard butterfly accent with a little uh, Look at that. pink swirl as its tail little journaling spot there and another photo mat that pops out then on the back I just used my Martha Stewart edge punch and another glittered heart piece and then it closes and I like that it's not too chunky because mostly the paper is what you're looking at in here I mean the paper is the star and um, so anyways, um, I'm going to wrap that up and send it off to a little sweet DM. Okay? So I hope you guys like it. Let me know what you think. And I uh, hope you guys give this one a try. It's really fun. Have a great one. Bye.